Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the daily read for Wednesday the 26th of June 2019. And this is for all signs, so it won't resonate with everybody, it resonates with those people it's meant to resonate for. So I'm just pulling an angel answer card. So angels, what do people need to know? This is for all signs for Wednesday the 26th of June 2019, please. Okay, I'll leave those three cards on the table that have popped out. Trust. We, okay. We have the situation will improve. We have trust. Maybe trust that the situation will improve. And there's something better. There's something better. It might well be if you've suffered disappointments in the past. You know, you get your heart and, soul, heart and soul in an opportunity in the workplace, for example. And it's kind of saying it wasn't meant for you, so trust the process. Trust that there is something better. You have to work towards that, yeah. You might well be in love. You know, there's something better on the love space. Cards, what do we have for Wednesday the 26th of June 2019? This is for all signs. What's the message, please? What's the message, please, for Wednesday the 26th of June 2000? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me just put these cards kind of split into two. So we have the Three of Swords. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Six of Swords. You're moving away from something that wasn't for you. Yeah, wasn't for you. What do we have, cards? What's the message for Wednesday the 26th? June 2019. This is for all signs. What do people need to know? What's the message for today? There's too many there. There is something really clearly about... I just keep on hearing this wasn't for you. Okay. We have, yeah, the Page of Swords, beautiful, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Two sixes, yeah, beautiful, that's harmony. And the bottom of the deck, isn't that beautiful? This is good karma. This is blessings as well. Powerful energies, divine light. There is something here about trusting what's happening. Yeah, I kind of feel, I mean, these are angel cards. This is also the angel, some say this is angel Gabriel, some say this is angel Michael. Angel Michael is God's light. Angel Gabriel is God's, mess God's messenger. You're definitely receiving messages here. There is something better, better. Trust. Just trust the process. Don't get down about being rejected. I'm feeling that's key for some of you because the situation will improve and you have to trust it. This wasn't meant for you, whatever the opportunity was. Something was never meant for you. And it's about seeing that clarity. And I think some of you are. I think some of you are having that clarity. Three of Swords energy. <clears throat> I don't get worried about seeing the Three of Swords because I know there's clarity that comes with it. There is truth that comes with it. This Three of Swords can be about heartbreak in a relationship. There are levels to this card as well. There can be about dis it can be about disappointment, hurt, upset, letdowns. 
Uh, and because it's a general reading, it can be in any aspect, aspect of life. The, the beauty about the Three of Swords energy is that you were meant to see the truth. You were meant to see the truth in order to move forward. It was a blessing in disguise. How interesting, that's just come to me. A blessing in disguise. And you'll see the truth. Yeah, some of you will see it. Some of you will look back and see it. This page of thought is about getting clarity, about getting perspective, about starting making decisions on, on moving forward, of seeing where you're going next, on moving on from a situation, maybe cutting ties with the past or whatever, or whoever caused this situation. This is the beginnings of something new now. This can be a change in mind. It can be a change in perspective. It can be at the beginnings of a new journey for some of you, change in direction for some of you. But this is where you're getting your ambition back. You're getting the truth is the truth of the past. It's almost kind of like you're ready to move on from, from this. You're ready to to move forward. This is a card of going for it. It's, part, it's a card of going forward. And it is about the fact that some of you will be... I don't know where that house alarm just came from. <laughs> oh, we do have judgment here. Maybe it's a message. Um, this is about getting clarity on a situation that has kept you down for a while, because this, this Three of Swords would have been challenging in whatever aspect. But it's almost kind of like suddenly there's a, a light and load in your mind, the negativity is leaving you, and you're feeling positive, you're feeling ready to move forward, to mentally move on. You know, sometimes we can physically move on from people. This Page of Swords is a card of mentally moving on from a situation of the past, so it's a beautiful card. Now, we have um, the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Now, this is Venus in Aquarius. Um, this can sometimes be about people not living up to expectation. This can also be about conflict. Conflict in your internal world, in your mind maybe, in the past, that you're now getting clarity on. Conflict in your external world when you had to deal with a situation that was just keeping you insecure, unstable. Certainly this energy here. This is a victory card, but it comes at a cost. And it, it is very much with Venus being in that Aquarius sign, it is very much about choosing your battle, battles wisely. Seeing the truth of the situation and deciding whether you need to engage with this or whether you just need to move on from a situation. And only you know it best. But I kind of think some of you will be making solid decisions, solid judgments in this situation. This is a card of Capricorn, but it's also a very grounding energy. I think some of you will be dealing with the facts of the situation. That's become very clear. The facts have become very clear. This is, this is the card, the, the Queen of Pentacles is an energy. You, well, you may well be getting, well, it might be somebody in your life who is giving you advice, solid advice, honest advice. You could have had conflict with a Capricorn. Yeah, that's true too. As an energy in itself, it says it's about being focused, it's about being grounded. You have everything in, you need your, in your earthly world, in your earthly world, to transform your situation for the better. This is a card of, of having the earthly resources that you need to bring about positive change in your life. Um, so it's a beautiful message with the Queen of Pentacles energy as itself. You know, you plant the seeds, you have the fertile soil to make it grow, all the experience and knowledge and wisdom and know-how to move on and transform your situation for the better. Yeah. But this, this is a card of good, honest advice as well from somebody. But as I say, it could be also conflict with somebody as well. But I think you're moving on from it. You're moving on from it. You've got two sixes. You're finding balance again. You're finding harmony. You're finding that happy balance between heart and mind in your internal world. You're finding that happy balance 
in in where you're going and also appreciating the lessons from the past this person this six of 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 bonds is somebody who has overcome challenges in their past and by it's almost kind of like the challenges that they faced and overcome has made them feel that sense of achievement that sense of power that sense of what they're capable of and they want more of it they're moving towards a brand new uh, sorry they're moving towards progressive success if you like and even though there may well be obstacles coming in the future they feel more than capable they have the strength and courage to deal with them so this is that point in life when you're just finding the happy balance you're kind of finding that there isn't anything that you can't overcome through through experience of the past and i kind of think that's making you more solid that's making you more successful that's making you more empowered and ready to move on ready to seek new horizons maybe some of you might be moving some of you might be moving house this is about moving as an energy from choppy waters to calmer waters you've got clarity in where you're going and what you want in life now because you feel more in control of a situation because you have a happy life balance and that's a beautiful energy this is a powerful transition it's a powerful transition that is saying that it was a blessing in disguise whatever happened it was a blessing in disguise that's what i just keep on hearing yeah so yeah and then yeah <clears throat> This is about letting go of things that have kept you from moving on. This is about letting go and forgiving where you can forgive. And moving on, allowing yourself to be reborn, awaken to your true self, to your true power, to your true capabilities. Judgment is that point in time when you may well be making final decisions on a situation. But this this is ruled by a planet, um, the Pluto, the uh, planet... Pluto, the planet Pluto, and the, that the planet Pluto is very much about death, destruction, transformation, rebirth. So from very much from the ashes of, of the past, you're being reborn, but twice as strong, twice as enlightened, far more empowered than you were before. Um, this is good karma on your side. That's what I'm saying. I just think this is a blessing in disguise. There was something about good karma being on your side. Things weren't happening or weren't meant to happen for a reason because there was a bigger purpose. There's probably bigger decisions on the horizon, more important decisions, and you're moving into your own light. You're stepping into your own light. Yeah, so it's about trusting the process for those of you who are in a negative situation at the moment, it is saying that the, the situation will improve and that there is something better around the corner. And it is about having that belief, that belief that things will change. There's a real conviction with these two cards, the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands, in the sense that when you find that happy balance, when you move on from a period of being very unstable and very hurt, um, when you finally do move on, there is such a rush of empowerment, of feeling like you're achieving, of feeling like you're just anticipating what life's going to bring you now. And there's real promise for the future. So powerful energies there. So yeah, just have that faith. Step into your own light. Focus on your journey now, very much the judgment energy. And let go of things that just really don't concern you. Again, choose your battles wisely. Choose how you hold on to this conflict. Because the cards are kind of saying it's better to move away. It's better to walk away, turn your back on a situation. You see this person has turned their back on these two cards. Turning your back on a situation that just wasn't for you. Because there was always something better. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.